guys, we're going to do a little test cut today with the Kitamura HX400G. Um, we're going to run this program off of the memory stick. And I'm going to try and run it uh, one tool at a time to try and set up what the tool is going to do and how much it's going to take and what the speeds and feeds are going to be. So what I'm going to do now is uh, put it in uh, memory mode, press the M card button, press the USB button, it says it's running, reset, my bad, USB, call the program, 0, 2015 search and we have our program so now we're looking at the card and at this point the first tool that we're going to run is a two inch shell mill five teeth we're going to run it at 525 surface feet per minute and 30 inches 35 inches a minute at a quarter inch depth of cut so here we go Next tool is a three flute, inch and a half, integral shank end mill, and we're going to take a full slot width cut at 325 thousandths depth and 2,000 RPM at 50 inches a minute. A 5 8 end mill, four flute, solid carbide. Um, it's sticking out as you can see, roughly three inches from the end of the holder. And uh, we're going to run this tool at 5,000 RPM and about 135 inches per minute. And we're going to do a tricoidal milling slot. We're using a 5 8 tool to produce a 1 inch wide slot. 800 thousandths deep in one pass. The spindle load meter 
when it's cutting each pass, is pulling about 15% on the spindle load meter. This type of cutting gives you very predictable tool life. 